messages claiming that he would not hang himself and that he had multiple hard drives that contained shocking information on the world's elite. However, shortly after that tweet, he was found dead in his prison cell and it was ruled a suicide. Many mysterious circumstances surround him and his death. Why did his wife and lawyers say that he did not commit suicide? Why were there weird social media posts on his account following his death? Also, on the day of his death, why were hard drives all across the world wiped of all information? So with this topic, I figured if it would be best if we started off at the beginning and work our way through John's life. Now this may seem a bit boring on the surface, but trust me, it isn't. John's life, it was like friggin' Joe Exotic. There's a ton of knowledge nuggies that may have connections with some theories that we may have. But before we get into those theories, like I said, let's start at the beginning. So Hans, tell us about his life. All right. Now to start this off, we figured why not have John McAfee tell you himself about how his parents met so, I have a short two-minute clip, which I'm going to play right now. How I was brought into this world. Well, let's see. My, um, I was born at the very end of World War II. My mother was a, um, a British lady. My father, an American soldier, a sergeant in the Army. Uh, he was stationed in, in England, very near the, um, the home place of my mother. Uh, they began an affair um, a year and a half before I was born. And uh, my mother at the time was married to a, a nice uh, British gentleman who was in France fighting the war while my father was in England um, sleeping with my mother. Uh, everything went very well up until on a very romantic evening. My, um, my father and mother lit a bunch of candles to, um, to add to the romance and set fire to the the entire uh, building, including the jewelry store downstairs that was owned by my, my mother's husband, and uh, two naked people in the street uh, brought to light the fact that uh, my mother had been unfaithful and, and her world collapsed around her. At the end of the war, my, my father was, um, was removed from England and, and sent back to the States where he uh, resigned from the Army and, and started uh, a life as a surveyor for the highway department, um, abandoning my mother. Um, I was two years old when my mother finally came to the States to, to be with my father, and they were in fact married uh, when I was two uh, in a town called Norton, Virginia. Um, I think my father had totally forgotten about both myself and my mother. My mother, however, was very persistent and had been writing letters to uh, my father's parents, my grandfather and, and grandmother, who I think over the, uh, over the years... Uh, applied sufficient pressure to their son that he finally gave in and, and brought my mother and myself over. We lived for the first um, three years uh, in the basement apartment of my, my grandfather's house on the outskirts of a town called Norton, Virginia, in the heart of the Appalachians, the heart of the coal mining area of America. Fucking legend. Damn. I love his voice, by the way. I love your voice. Yeah. Thanks. No, he has a pretty smooth voice, ain't gonna lie. That's such a good life story. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be a jackass and be like, well, how I was born was my mommy met my father, and, you know, when a man likes a woman, stuff happens. I was like, I was waiting for it. I was like, come on, say it. Say it, jackass. You know you want to say it, too. Honestly, he didn't seem like a bad guy. At all. Burning down a jewelry store? Yeah, sticking it to the man. Like John stated, he was born on September 18, 1945, in the United Kingdom, on a U.S. Army base, only 16 days after the end of World War II. His father was serving as a soldier in the war when he met his mother. They had an affair together, and then bada-bing, John was born. His mother moved over to America when he was two years old and lived in John's grandparents' basement for the first few years. 
In multiple interviews, John describes his father as, and I quote, an alcoholic and abusive, which made John's childhood difficult. To add to that stress, at the age of 15, John's father committed suicide. Now, because of this, John himself started drinking and doing various drugs. However, this didn't affect his schooling. He excelled academically, graduating high school, and started going to Roanoke College for mathematics. While in college, John began working at a company that wrote code for punch card systems. You know, a lot of people, probably the younger listeners don't understand. You know, you take that, that punch card that you clock in with and you just stick it in here. Do, 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 puts the time on it, you know. Sorry. First job had one. This taught him the basics of early 